Welcome back to Surviving Mars. Surviving Mars is getting a very, very cool new DLC. It's adding an area of like space travel and exploration that I'm very interested in, and that is asteroid mining. Now you can also dig below the surface of Mars and expand your colony. But what we're gonna be doing today is trying to get rich mining an asteroid. Now I wanna say a big shout out and thank you to Paradox for sponsoring this video and getting me early access to this DLC. And keep in mind that you can check out Surviving Mars below and beyond for yourself using the link in the video description below. So without further ado, let's go get rich. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that shiny little guy down there. Oh, that's Florida. And yeah, as much as I would like to name this colony Florida Ooh. on Mars, <laughs> we're, we're basically trying to... <clears throat> Mine. Asteroids. So obviously there's really only one name we can think of. They call it a mine. <laughs> oh, Gimli. Oh, don't worry, Gimli. Well, I have a way of honoring you too. This rocket is not called Rocket One. This is Gimli number one. It's made of pure mithril. <laughs> Guess where they got it from? Okay, I'll stop. When going to Mars, you must find a site with lots of metals because dwarves love that stuff. Man, like Mars is just this mystical celestial beauty out there. It's also like gonna kill a lot of people. Is that too somber? We want a lot of water. Ooh, that's a lot of meteors. Don't worry. Yeah, you see that? That's a subterranean cavern. One of the elements of this new DLC update. So when you first get on Mars, you gotta you gotta find yourself a little place like, well, where do I want to be? Ooh, water and metals. Heck yeah. And an anomaly. So I'm thinking it's quite clear we want to be posted up right around here. Now, I had built a sprawling empire on Mars, but my old save file is incompatible with this update. Check it out. Let's just go ahead and pause as that beautiful rocket ship holds off into the ground. We have this thing called rate or <laughs> recon and expansion. And among that, well, we have micro G landers, a reconnaissance center, which will help us find ahem, asteroids, micro G vehicles. We've got tunnels where we can tunnel, well, into the subterranean caverns of Mars. You know those pesky meteors we were talking about? Well, you know, that's a good way to avoid them. However, there are lots of things that could go wrong. Don't worry, and they will, it'll be awesome. Oh, don't you just love it? Isn't it beautiful? Why, yes it is. Now we're gonna get some concrete. I love the animations of this thing. Like, if this is how we do it when we colonize Mars, and I hope to see it in my lifetime, I hope it looks something like this. So this guy got in a little bit of an accident and needs to be repaired. How cool is that? So we got the recon center researched. We could do some uh, tunnel support. Ooh, we found our first asteroid. They have provided us with a time window in which it would be possible to travel to and from this asteroid. They're rich in exotic minerals that we cannot obtain here on Mars. We're gonna need an asteroid lander, a C-type asteroid. Oh, they're very common. <laughs> Look, they call it a mine. I wonder where our ast little asteroid buddy is. Asclepius. I wanna see it. I wanna see Asclepius. Look at that. What, polymers, water, rare metals, and exotic minerals. Let's scan it. We don't have any recon centers yet. We gotta build that. Let's visit it. Well, we don't have an asteroid lander just yet, but we can get one from Earth. Isn't that wild? Oh my God, I love freaking space. An asteroid lander is one and a half billion, but we can't get it just yet. We probably need the right technology. So we'll start researching that right now. And you know what? It's we threw a little bit of money on uh, outsourcing research, AKA mo money quick research. Legolas, we need some help here. We gotta build your landing pad, obviously. All right, Legolas, it's time to land. We need these resources desperately. Look at these little guys picking up this, a surface deposit. This has to be one of my favorite parts though. There it is. So we got Gimli and we've got Legolas. At one point we want to complete the fellowship here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it is beautiful. Never would I have thought I'd see a dwarf and an elf on Mars, but here we are. All right, so now we have the micro G landers. So this is the question we want to have. Now we can request one. Curiosity number one. I didn't even get to name it. What the fellowship. There it is. Our first asteroid exploring rocket. Now you can tell that they definitely look a little bit different. I like them very industrial looking. There's the second one. All right, we need to power this puppy up. And we're gonna build our first little self-contained dome. 
Boydor. Can I name that something different? Let's visit this asteroid. Well, I guess we should scan it, but we don't have a recon center that's supplied at the moment. But it's only eight hours away, but we have a very limited number, uh, like an amount of time that we can do it. You know what? What can we load up in it? Well, currently I'm researching micro G vehicles, which it will enable these RC rovers to travel and move on the asteroids. I think that's kind of step one is, you know, kind of finding our bearings. Let's get a cargo rocket, and we're gonna name this one... Boromir. Boromir 1. Launch it. If we could refuel these things, we could send them back and forth. Faramir, you're going to the asteroid with an RC Explorer on board, mind you. You guys may not come back, but don't worry. Ooh, water. Heck yes. We have no fuel production to speak of, and we have a lot of rockets to fuel. Well, Boromir's here, but uh, I'm realizing that we're not doing a very good job at requesting the right things. And unfortunately, check this out, I cannot ask for fuel. No fuel to speak of. Well, Boromir's here with all of our drones. All right, we're requesting prefab parts that are all generators. So Gandalf's on the way, man. Now, before I request people, we need to be able to cover our electrical issue. Basically, when it's nighttime, the solar panels, which provide most of our energy, are out. And that's where Gandalf comes in. Ooh, we found ice under the surface, and we just got a lot of money for it. Heck yeah. All right, Gandalf, time to land. All right, here's Gandalf. That should be the prefab parts, which should allow me to now... Huh, 35. <laughs> Ooh, an asteroid. All right, <laughs> that definitely uh, solved the power issue, didn't it? <laughs> Pippin is coming with some prefabs. We're gonna scan this asteroid. We got 31 exotic minerals in one deposit and a ton of water. Water would have been good. I don't think we're gonna have time to fuel up these rockets in time. We just don't have the infrastructure. I bit off a little bit more than I can chew. It's time to get some people here. I just have so many freaking rockets and they just keep landing. <laughs> I wonder who's responsible for that. Produces fuel from water. And how many freaking rockets do we have here? I don't think we have an Aragorn yet. Matching applicants selected. Whoa. Okay. Launch. All right, we got our first people on the way. We have the infrastructure in place. We're producing enough oxygen, water, and electricity. Ooh. Oh yeah, and, and we do have a hydroponics farm in here. That way we can start working in the recon center. All right, time to land our first people here. Guess we'll land them over here where <laughs> everything is. Is that too far from the pod? Please don't die. First humans on Mars. Oh my God, they're so small. Run! Guys, uh, this is Mars. Uh, you're welcome. I'm sorry I launched you so far from your pods, but hopefully you all make it there. Please don't die. That would be so awkward. Yeah! <laughs> Everybody get to work and do some stuff. We got some medals over here. All right, let's give them some amusement. A space bar. Oh my god, this is so big. In an open-air gym? Yeah, we're gonna want a gym. A bar and a gym should keep them entertained for a while. Now we gotta make sure... Okay, food is being produced. We're gonna wanna make sure that we can supply ourselves with enough food to keep these people alive so they can find asteroids so I can mine them. Ooh, fireworks! I love fireworks. That's from the Patriot. <laughs> All right, we're making Faramir the high priority here on being refueled. So now these guys should be delivering the fuel now. Yeah, it's 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 going. It'll be a little bit slow, but it's going. And we could request more drones from Earth, but I mean, I just feel like we have so many rockets here, we gotta figure this out. We got 12 people and almost as many rockets. <laughs> uh, wasteful on resources is an understatement. But the other thing is, this asteroid's gonna be gone in two souls in four hours. I think we can abandon this one. I wanna find a new one. People are starving. Okay, let's just get all food. I thought these people would be working and getting food. All right, food is ready to land. Earth Trojan, what is this? We have discovered a previously unknown Earth Trojan. Ooh, these asteroids have a solar orbit similar to Earth's and are surprisingly energy efficient to reach. This makes them prime candidates for resource mining. Oh, we can't mine it ourselves, but we can get some money from it or gain a supply pod. We will gain a supply pod. And there's our food right here. I love these little supply pods, man. We have all the food over here. Look at it. We have tons of food. Something's not making much sense. A food depot. Let's make a food depot like right at the base and then we can destroy this. 
We're having a little bit of an issue there. And look, there we go. Guys, I need you to deliver the food over here. Look at these little flying drones. How sweet is that? Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're not going to be starving anymore. Yeah, get your food, you beautiful Martians. We do not have a food shortage. We have an asteroid shortage. A remote control vehicle. We want an explorer. Now, on this, what do we want? Micro G extractor. We want a micro G water extractor. We want one of those. Yeah, that looks good. Request. So that thing will be ready for when we discover an asteroid. Drones, flying drones, and Martian people. This game is beautiful. Farmier's ready to take off. I guess we could start loading this one, too. Just in case we find another asteroid. And we're looking up advanced gravity maneuvers, which would allow us to travel to an asteroid and back in, like, a significantly less amount of time. Yeah, I don't see... Nobody should be starving right now. <laughs> How cool would it be if, like, you saw this giant drone <laughs> running down your little street? I guess we could take a few little drones with us, maybe? We'll take two drones with us. And I don't know what else we're gonna need. I guess, do we want to take fuel? Highly explosive. Probably gonna need another food storage here. It's filling up. We've got two free frab... Two, two, two free frabs, a drone. Well, two drones. How's research coming along? Almost there. Ooh! Advanced communication satellite? Yes. Let's send Gimli number one. We're returning Aragorn to Earth. He's gonna come back with the required materials to send this expedition. Goodbye, Aragorn! Let's speed you up so you're rocket fast. <laughs> Asteroid's gonna pass by just out of reach. Bummer. Asteroids are very limited window opportunities, it seems. Gandalf, go by. Boromir, go by. Planetary anomalies found. All right, Gimli's going off on the expedition right before a meteor storm. Let's hope we don't die. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we have an asteroid. This is an M-type asteroid made of metals and rare metals, but also polymers and water. Let's do a detailed scan. This is what we have been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to keep our composure. I mean, look at these things have just been sitting here and getting dusted, but we have two rockets loaded with cargo. I'm thinking maybe we could uh, increase their payload so that they can carry some fuel for their way back. I'm, I'm assuming that's how it works. <laughs> We got the expedition for the high-speed comm satellite to talk to Earth. But Faramir and Theoden are both ready to go to an asteroid. And I got a ton more drones here requested from Earth, so we should be bumping now. Advanced micro-G mining operations, we want to start working on that. It's 30,000 research, it is going to take a while. Okay, so we had the advanced study done, or the advanced scan. We've got eight days and 17 hours to get to it. It has a lot of polymers, which we do want, and metals. These are all things that we want. Okay, good. Let's visit it. I think we wanted to send Faramir first, right? Faramir, what's in your payload? Yeah, we're gonna send you. So let's visit the asteroid, let's visit Nyx, and go. All right, load her up. Should be, ooh, we ready. <laughs> I, this is, I, I'm like giddy. This is the first time I've ever gotten to do this. I'm like, I'm obsessed with the idea of mining asteroids. It's just imagine the concept of near infinite resources. I mean, that's how you build star destroyers. You know what I'm talking about? That's how you do it. I mean, the moon could maybe work too. I don't know. All right, so there it is going up. And then once we get there, we'll be able to start operations on there. And look, I mean, we got our own little asteroids here hitting, but it's cool. Like we can go between Mars, the underground, and then Nyx. Oh, here we go. Okay, so pause. Here's we're gonna transfer to Nyx. Ooh. Okay. So we have water. We've got to figure out where we want to land it. It's kind of tricky. I want to get close to the metals. Oh, we can get right there. Okay, we are gonna land here. Oh, isn't this awesome? And then we only can operate here for eight days. Faramir is also capable of landing. Let's speed it up. There it is. Okay. We want a nice touchdown here. Oh my god, I love it. I mean, this is what it's about for me. Is like going and doing stuff like this. Alright. We here. So what we need to do... What's my build menu? I should be able to build... Alright, we need power, right? Oh, I guess I should have loaded this up with... Okay, so this requires... Let's pause. This... 
needs metals for maintenance. Uh-oh. Okay, I have an idea. Can this thing make it back? Let's return to Mars. All right, so we're gonna load and go back. Because I think it's clear that what we need is we need some maintenance metals. Oh, look, is this thing flying? It is flying. But this is awesome. It's a way to get more resources. They call it a mine. All right, so if we go back here, I think what we need to do is edit the payload so we have some metals. We probably don't need this much fuel. And let's go back to Nyx. Because if I just want to extract the water, it consumes a lot of power. Like, I could put this thing right here. But where am I gonna land it? I might have to land it, like, maybe up there? There it is. Now it needs to be powered, obviously. We'll need two large solar panels. Now remember that we do have eight days to do this. So as we look off into the beauty that is space from this little speck of dust, this little asteroid, it just feels like the possibilities are endless. And we haven't even gotten into the subterranean realms here on Mars. Like, take a look at this tech tree. You've got shaft tunneling, tunnel supports, underground domes. There is a slew of other things that we can do. So if you guys do want to see more Surviving Mars, well, pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. And remember that you can check out the Below and Beyond DLC for yourself using the link in the video description below. So once again, a big shout out and thank you to Paradox for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.